Hello guys, Jagveer Singh back with another video of Katia V5 software and today I will teach you how to adjust the configuration of Katia V5 software. Well, some people like to use the settings as they want to. So I will just give you an idea how the default settings are and how we can change them. So I have already told you that I have my own settings that I have modified a bit but I would also like to tell you how I did that basically this is on one of my friends request that he asked me to show and post a video because it's pretty common like because of which most of the students face a lot of trouble like how to configure and adjust Katia according to themselves it can be really hard for some students who are new to Katia to understand how Katia works. So by knowing and able to control Katia settings as per they want to gives an ease for them to understand Katia. Plus it also makes it more enjoyable for them. So for the same I will go to file, click on new, open a product, click OK. So right now you can see that there are workbenches right here. I will just bring a new part within my product and call it J. Let's say. So now I have a product and a part itself. So right here. So sometimes it can show you by default that your all these tabs might appear to be inside. So the best part to bring them out is simply click on the tab that you want to take it out left click hold and move it wherever you want to also if you want to align the bar horizontally you can hold press left and then click on shift it will align horizontally this way bring it out shift it will align it horizontally. Align it horizontally. So this is a good way of aligning all the features out, and also like most of the features that you might require are hidden sometimes. So it's always a good practice to bring all the features out before you start working with your sketches and assemblies or your parts itself. So yeah. So you can see all the features are out and also you can do the same which are at the bottom too. Just like that. So these are under the product. So sometimes if you want to toggle between different different product de design features which you can see which are shown under workbench which is generative shape design, part design itself in which we are working right now, sketch tracer, assembly design. Well, assembly design and some other features, they also fall in product. So it all depends. If I click on assembly design, it will give me an option. So it moved from part design to the assembly itself, under which this part, the name is J, is substituted or submerged into. So I double click on the part itself and it show me the same. So if I say I want to go to generative shape design, which is a part feature as I know, I click on generative shape design and all the feature of GSD or generative shape design appears right here. I've scrambled it according to myself and the best part about Katia is when you make changes, you can all, always go and save those changes in your C drive. Which you generally do is whatever changes that you would like to make, I will show you in a second and there are specific settings in different different I would say uh, in local C drive where you go and make changes I will show you in a while in my laptop it's already by default so I need not to change anymore but I will still show you just the way how to do that so just like right here if I want to make some adjustments in workbench so there are just to make sure that we do have all the features you can right click 
at the bottom and it will show you all the workbench or every feature that Katia provides under GSD in this case. You can see that surface machine tools are miss missing so you click on them and there we go. We are able to see them now. So sometimes by when you are going to be starting Katia and when you are new to Katia it might not show you all the features as checked so take your time right click at the bottom and make sure that all the features are checked out and then it's easier for you to understand how the software works itself you can al always go to customize and then you can toggle and move some feature if you want to between your workbench so let's say I want to use assembly design and move it this side well, assembly design is already there so let's say I have kinematics already let's say drafting I would say and move it there so you just notice right now the workbench added one another feature of drafting under the workbench section similarly I can move back and forth the same way I can reduce and add part design and all other workbenches if, if I want to but these are the one that I normally use so I just added a bunch of these which are my preferences and it can be user defined too so yeah basically that's that's pretty much it but I will also tell you like how to change the Katia settings and how to save the modifications in the next video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you are new to channel and also I do post SOLIDWORKS videos that I would like you to go through and have a look if you are familiar with SOLIDWORKS 2018 and also I'm going to post Mastercam videos as soon as possible so stay tuned take care